Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Designer tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be continuing the floor plan series, and we will be going over how to create windows. Now I have this simple floor plan over here, and I wanted to add a window right here to add some, let's say, light to the room, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is have the grid set up so that you can snap to each of these points. Now what you have to do is come to the view panel, and come to Grid Access Manager. And right here, the spacing is at 64. And I'm going to lower it down to 2. Now, if you're working with millimeters, you might have to increase it. It might already be at 2 millimeters, and you want to increase it to every millimeter. But that's if you're on the millimeter scale. I'm using pixels. So what I can do now is zoom in and see all of the new grid points. And there's new grid points here. And windows are usually represented by a rectangle with a line through the center. And what we can do is come up and see now that might not be enough spacing. She can go down to like 1.5 and see if it can snap. And it's better to snap. So you can just really adjust it for your picture and come over on how to do it. And we're going to come over and add it. Now, what is happening with this is that the stroke is a little too big, and you can kind of adjust it down a little bit and change the align to the align stroke to inside. So right now, it is completely aligned. And even if you zoom in, it is aligned right there. So what we can now do is take our pen tool and just draw a simple line through it. You can increase the stroke a little bit just so you can see it more uh, vividly. And what you can do is take this curve, which is the line, and move it directly onto the rectangle layer. Not there. And now it is a part of this rectangle. And that is how you make a window in your Affinity Designer floor plan. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and stay tuned for more Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo tutorials.